As the Cubs have become bolder at home, Giles thinks it's time for Spot and Stripe to increase their socialization with the adult tigers back at the zoo. At the main tiger compound, Giles and his team are full-time carers for 10 adult tigers, and Spot and Stripe have been gradually exposed to them. Ah, oh, good boy, good boy. Good boy. Seeing the adult tigers through the glass is one thing, but their next big milestone is to socialize and meet one of the adults in the open air. There's going to be lots and lots of interesting smells in here with all the other tigers. You know, like the big guys come through here on a regular basis and it's much, much more of a sensory stimulation for them in here in terms of the smell than just being around the front of the glass. Like the tiger, the big tigers never go around that side, so. Get used to walking around here, boys. In just over a month, the cubs will be too big to live at home. And they need to be accepted by the adults for them to live here full time. He's a little bit nervous, as you would expect. You can see him, he's smelling all the smells around. There's lots of smells of big predators, other tigers around, so you're gonna be a little bit cautious naturally. In the wild, an unrelated tiger could easily injure the cubs. How is she? She's waiting. There you go. And Giles hopes Maneki won't display any threatening behaviors. Oh, who is it? Oh, 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 so this is Maneki. Well, this is the very, very first time that Maneki's seen any cubs whatsoever. Tigers communicate using a range of vocalizations. And the most common non-threatening sound they make is called a chuff. Chuffing is reassuring, so they're chuffing at her, they're chuffing at each other. So it's a reassuring type of noise, but it's also a way of greeting, so that she speaks your language, not like Ruby. Tigers are one of the few cats in the world to communicate in this way. These guys are very inquisitive, so their facial expression with their ears is exactly that. Now he's being a bit submissive for the fact that he's putting his ears slightly back, he's getting down low. So that's just being a little bit unsure, if you like. Whereas Maneki, you can see how relaxed she is. She's sat there, she's fairly happy. So Stripe is um, it's getting a little bit close. He's being cautious in the way in which he approaches. <laughs> Good boy. You're brave. Yeah. Look at his face. He's very, very cautious. Like, he wants to go up a bit closer, but he's also a little nervous. But that's to be expected. Like, look at the size of her in comparison to him. So, all... <laughs> and she's reacting a little. She doesn't want to be surprised. The cubs have won over Maneki, and Giles is relieved. For a very first encounter, you couldn't have asked for it to go any better or any smoother, you know? No one's being uh, aggressive, no one's showing over-interest or too much interest, so. And the Cubs are coping really well.